Hello, my name is Alexandre and I'm a GLPI developer. Today I will answer most common question related to GLPI 10 migration. You can migrate to version 10 from any GLPI version. We support migration from at least 0 0.80 version and all data like users, tickets, or assets will be transferred. The server must have at least PHP 7.4 and MySQL 5.6 dependencies. If your server doesn't have these, you must upgrade these requirements. No data loss is expected, but as usual, make backups files and database, and or snapshots. You will need to execute some optional migration after GLPI main update with the help of the console. If you have custom developments or card changes, please note they will be erased when copying the files. Consider porting them before the migration. All plugins listed in GelPay network subscriptions, both community and exclusive ones, will be compatible with GelPay 10. You can check the link in the description of the video for a community-based list. In addition to the small gain of not using a plugin, the feature will use less storage data and database storage. For example, software updates take one line instead of two. We worked also on user experience. You now have assets separated by types for a more comfortable setup. It unlocks some features like partial inventories, which reduce performance footprint, and more asset types are available for inventory. You can send files for racks, appliance, certificates, etc. In combination with GLPI Agent, you also obtain some great features. Database inventory, proxy mode for DMZ, remote inventory or agentless for Windows and Linux, and also standalone SNMP tasks. 